we're often asked what's the benefit between using lay flat hose and suction delivery hose. As you can see here, we have a length of lay flat hose. This is approximately 20 meters in length. So you can see it's very easy and compact to store away. One thing I will point out is these are not ideal to be used in anything more than like a basic straight line. If they go, if you're using it to go up and over obstacles and around corners, the hose can kink, which will stop your flow of water. Another thing I would point out as well, if you are gonna be using this with a uh, submersible pump is, obviously this isn't the correct size for here. However, just for demonstration, you can see if you do use it on top of the pump, the hose will kink straight away. So I would advise using an elbow hose tail or the suction delivery hose if you're going to be using an angle like that okay now if you're using a engine pump I would always recommend you use the lay flat hose for the outlet and not the inlet you'd always use the suction delivery hose for the inlet because it's strong and it's used for suction now we have the suction delivery hose this uh, mainly comes in green as color or black this one's a bit weathered so it's faded slightly now this as you can see is very very strong and it doesn't kink and it's, it bends quite easy so it's ideal if you're going up and over obstacles uh, up cellar stairs and, and things like that i'd always recommend using this if you're using it a um a pond installation because you can bury it under rockery and you can hide it and it go being used for waterfalls again um same as before it's not the correct size for the pump itself but it's a lot better suited if you are coming straight out of a pump as well the difference between the lay flat and the suction on storage wise as you can see this does take up considerably more room if you do wish to store it as well